This video is brought to you by Dynamic Custom Beadworks. Head over to DynamicBeadworks.com now to get your own custom video game sprite. To Las Vegas for the heavyweight championship fight between Andre Bishop and Isaac Frost here at the MGM Grand. Isaac Frost, one of the best power-punching, intimidating champions we've seen in the grand history of the sport, not long ago laid an absolute beatdown on Raymond Bishop, Andre's little brother. Now tonight, Andre seeks revenge with emotions running high, Teddy. And that's the key word there, Joe, emotions. You know, this sport is about skills and wills. But it's also about emotion, and not the way that a lot of people think. You can't get mad and go out there and be a good fighter, be a champion. You have to control that. You get mad, your opponent takes advantage of that. This is a true test whether or not Bishop can control those red-hot emotions. Isaac Frost got a target on his opponent from the moment he steps out of that locker room to every step he takes during this ring walk. You can see exactly what's in his scope. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the challenger, Andre Bishop. I think this is the final fight, guys. Okay, this is good, this is good. Any questions from the challenger? Any questions from the champion? Yeah, I got one. How's little Raymond doing? I'm sorry. Okay, 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 break it up. I want to see a nice, clean fight. Touch up. What a dick. <laughs> this guy is a freaking animal. Don't even try to win the first couple of rounds. Just survive. Let him tire himself out. Yeah, I got it. I mean it, kid. This guy's a friggin' animal. You seen what he done to Raymond? Use your feet. Keep your hands up. Stick around for a couple of rounds and he'll get frustrated. I guarantee you. I got it, Gus. Anticipated round one. Keep in mind what happened the last time Isaac Cross was in the ring with a bishop. That was baby bishop, Andre's brother. Now Andre seeks. So basically, I gotta play this like Mayweather for two rounds. That's cute. like this power puncher versus power puncher that he who has more power wins but in a way is it as simple as saying he who has more fundamentals wins yes absolutely he who has a missile to get that bomb to the target oh, here we he's go. gonna win here we go. halfway through this round oh and he returns fire with a left hand ah fuck Strike after catching one by Andre Bishop. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Oh, oh he gets fuck hit me. by a left hand that he had no clue on. Well, he may be in bad shape, but all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he's able to avoid punches and survive. You know, boxing is a funny business. It's a metaphor for life. You know, sometimes you have somebody outside and they don't say what they want to say. They have to have a drink. A little alcohol to start saying the things that are on their mind. Sometimes a fight is no different. You know, he gets hurt. And now all of a sudden, all his inhibitions are gone. And now he's doing all the things he's supposed to do because he's not thinking about anything except the things he should have been thinking about. It's automatic. A nice block by Andre Bishop. There we go. 
Well, once again, that wasn't a fantastic round by Andre Bishop, but I will say this, Teddy. He's hanging in this fight. Isaac Frost is yet to get off good and clean against him. No, Bishop is doing what he needs to do. You know, he's making believe he's Claude Rains, the original Invisible Man. He is not wanting to be seen here tonight. Not seen by Frost. Just like that. Right. One more Something round. about Isaac Frost. He just knows how to get after it early on. The good news for Andre Bishop is he survived the first round. Remember, his brother didn't do that against Isaac Frost. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here. Another thudding shot by Isaac Cross, this time the left hand. Bishop's got a little something coming back at him, a counterpunch score. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Andre Bishop. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Piercing jab. Good combination to the head. Bishop's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is the block. He did it there well. Well-placed combination by Andre Bishop. Whoa, who cleared the chat? Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Okay, there we go. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Wow, is he defensively sound. When and we did come? I create Muxy? Good work, kid. Um, Beautiful work. Like we talked about. I don't know. Somebody Slowing must have done that for me. I didn't so do it. So let's help him out a little. What do you say? I want you to go downstairs and give him some power shots now. I want you to chop that wood for three rounds. Got it? Knock the air out of his lungs. Three rounds. Power shots. Pound that body. You got it? I got it. Pound that body. Good man. Three rounds of nothing but body shots. Okay. And round number three is underway. Nice work to the midsection with the left. How about that hook by Andre Bishop? Well, there's one way to slow the champ. Andre Bishop with a stinging body shot to Isaac Frost. Oh, a huge hook to the body. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Oh, uh, wow. Fuck. I had no idea. Nowhere to goes go. Down. He's been here before. He knows what to do. This is nothing new to Bishop. He's been down in life and inside the ring, and he's gotten up. He knows how to behave. He's been in those circumstances outside the ring, and that will serve him right here. I don't know if Bishop saw this opening or if his trainer told him to go after it, but the body of Isaac Frost is right now an inviting target, and Bishop is taking advantage of it. Fight right now. Already scored a knockdown in this round. 
And now he's on the attack again. Yeah, all he has to do is don't fall into that syndrome where you hurt a guy and now you go away from what you were doing when you hurt him. You start throwing one shot trying to finish it instead of continuing to put him together. Just did a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's going to get down after getting tagged right there. He doesn't know where to go. I think he's oh, God. Come on, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Back it up, back it up. head hunting with the left. There we go. And this round comes to an end. Nice and calm. Nice and calm. How you doing? He's counter punching, and you need to be aware of that. Okay. Yeah. Ash is a turbo user, so he has more All access right. to name Relax. colors. You see what this guy's trying to do, right? He's trying to slow you down. That's why he's gunning for your body. He's only throwing to your body. Right? Look out for that. Listen. Bishop's heading out there for this round, hoping that his legs are under him the way they need to be. He was dropped the last round. Well, he's going to find out. See, that's a good thing you just said, hoping. Well, he can't hope his legs are under him. He's got to find that out because if he goes out there and tries to use them and they're not, he's going to fall all over the place, and the referee's going to stop him. His opponent's going to jump on him. So while the referee's counting, what he's going to do is... Oh, and God what an unfortunate oh, circumstance for Andre. Oh, fuck. Wow! Is down. Can he get up? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Come on! Come on! Come on. Come on. There we go. What will happen now with Andre Bishop as he rises up to fight on after being floored? <laughs> Stay away from those! Come on! Andre Bishop's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Goes up top with a right hand. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. <laughs> Yo, somebody in the crowd popping off about Frost's mom. <laughs> Good work toe-to-toe -to -toe there. Both fighters got in on him. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Come on. This is where his opponent could use a construction hard hat. If Isaac Frost is throwing a right hand like that, it could be lights out. Right. Last this round. Is a good sign Last round, Bishop I got to do this. He continues to land body shots against Isaac Frost. Oh, he's trying to slow him down a little bit. You know, if you can't hurt a guy up top, you go downstairs. You don't have to be the bigger puncher to slow a guy down or hurt a guy in the body. All you have to do is be consistent and catch him in the right spot. Start of the round, but Teddy, it could be the end of the fight. He's been knocked down numerous times, including the last round. You're probably right, Joe, but when things are darkest is when you find out what is special inside somebody, where they can go to a place you never expect them to be able to go to. Look at Archie Moore, Yvonne Durrell, years ago. Archie Moore was over 40 years old, in there with a 20-something-year-old Durrell. He was on the floor three times in the first round. He found a way to come back and knock him out in 11. This is another one of those nights. This is not what we expected, but Isaac Frost, all his power, all his pressure, it is being slowed down by Andre Bishop in that body attack. Oh, and another body shot by Andre Bishop. Nice job there, hooking to the body. 
Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two ass men and then... Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. You know what's gonna hurt him now, Joe? He's such a cocky fighter, such an offensive minor fighter. He doesn't know how to tie up. The big burly heavyweight Isaac Ross with a oh, I can't sharp clinch. left hand. I can't tie him up. <laughs> he got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Andre Bishop. Ross doing well here with that two-punch combination. Targeting the left hand to the body. All right. How bad is it, Gus? No, oh, it ain't pretty. But we can handle it. You gotta give us some time, Dre. Protect that eye. Don't let Frost touch it or the ref will stop this fight for sure. No way. Mm. Give us a couple of rounds. We'll get it under control. Don't let him mess it up. I got you. Start of the sixth round. A clearly refreshed heavyweight champion, Isaac Frost. He's ready to go here in this round. Good job with another left hand. Andre Bishop not looking as fresh as when this fight started. I think he's slowing a bit, Teddy. But the bad news, that's not the worst news. The bad news is if we can see it, his opponent can see it, he can take advantage of it. Isaac Frost really targeting that cut above the eye now. He's looking for a TKO here. You know he's trying to make more damage to Andre. Bishop doing a good job, though, of protecting him. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Bishop's just a completely different fighter now. I mean, he was stunned earlier in this fight, and since then, there's just more of a defensive disposition to him. Yeah, and the important thing right now is that sooner or later, and I think it's going to be sooner, his opponent's going to see the same thing, and he's not going to stay away. He's going to get more aggressive. Spending half this fight just running away. Isaac Cross continues to hit that cut eye of Andre Bishop. The ref is taking a look. He's taking a good hard look. We could have a stoppage here. Andre Bishop has tried to put his game plan to perfection forward tonight. However, this cut is throwing it all off track. He could be a TKO victim the way that looks. That's a bad, bad cut, Teddy. Yeah, he may have to become a riverboat gambler. All in now. Where he wanted a box before, now he can't afford the box. He's got to take chances. Six rounds in the books, six to go. Keep moving! Gotta see what is coming! Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Combos to the head, champ! Combos to the head! This is pathetic. Frost's objective is to land that jab. What the fuck? So One hit there. count is two? 
Isaac Frost landing a left hand again here. Andre Bishop's defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Ah, this fight shit. could be stopped. Isaac Frost is damaging that eye of Andre Bishop. We could have a TKO here. Halfway through this round here. God damn it. And the champ continues to do his thing. Out-punching, out-working, out-classing Andre Bishop here in the later stages. You're you goddamn right. right. How about that, guys? No, oh, it ain't pretty. But we can handle it. You gotta give us some time, Trey. Protect that eye. Don't let Frost touch it or the ref will stop this fight for sure. No way. Mm -hmm. Give us a couple of rounds. We'll get it under control. And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Downstairs, upstairs, downstairs, upstairs. It's okay, pay him back. Andre Bishop knows Isaac Frost is going to come after that cut above the eye. And you can see he is holding his guard up high, trying to protect him. Side to side. of pit stop here. He needs to refuel. Yeah, he needs to tie up a little bit. There we go. We can tie up. As he just ties up. Wow, my stamina dropped to nothing. Are you serious? Good combination punching by Isaac Cross there. The big man can put his punches together. Another jab from this. There's the jab. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. Ten seconds to go in this round. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left right. hand scores. Okay, on, Isaac Frost can sense blood um, in the water here. Nightmare, I don't Let's know if he jumps uh, on how long I'll be Andre streaming. Andre Bishop's cut over the eye is in a really bad spot, and it doesn't look good at all. It's threatening his chances of winning at this least fight. Well, the game has just changed. You know, he's playing blackjack in Vegas, and he was playing $10 a hand. Now he's got to play $1,000 a hand. He's got to take a chance. He's got to catch up. Keep the hands. Keep moving. Keep doing what you're doing. The guy's okay. It's okay. Just keep the guard up. Here we go. Action to start the seventh round. Bishop's corner has to be pleased with everything they've seen so far tonight. Consensus ringside is that this is a one-sided fight, that he's in complete control on the scorecard. Yeah, well, he's having his way, and it's not going to change unless he gets a little cocky here. If he starts looking for maybe one shot instead of putting them together the way he's doing, maybe it allows his opponent to have a little bit of hope, a little ray of hope, get back in this fight. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Fires right back at him. Frost's failure 
to protect himself from that left hand, it's become a big story now. Yeah, and he has to understand why. He's not controlling distance. He's standing too close in front. He needs to adjust a little further out. That is an ice-cold right hand by Isaac Frost. That's a fierce jab by Andre Bishop. Oh, shit. Headshots, champ. Back to the head. DeAndre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. Bishop's putting forth a great combination there. One, two. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. Solid left hand to the head. Double jab by Andre Bishop. Hey! Quit playing around with him and put that bastard away. Okay, nice work out there, kid. Looking good. Bleeding's under control. You know, that could have helped us out a little bit. I mean, he's even more tired now. He spent a lot of energy trying to take you out. Yeah. Oh, I've got to trust me. Left. Yeah? Well, you got more. You got more energy. You got more power. And you got more heart. God, you got more heart than any other fighter I've ever known. Now, you turn it up. You take the fight to that fucker and he won't know what hit him. This is your fight now, Andre. Take it to him. That's all you had to say, guys. Can we finally go ham on this guy? Hey. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even. Closely contested bout throughout. Great work by Isaac Cross. Too many of those punches by Isaac Cross. And this night's going to be over. Bishop lands another combination. Ooh. Teddy Frost looks good. Wow, Ooh. what a big <laughs> shot. And Frost goes down. Frost has never been down. The heavyweight champion of the world is on the canvas. Can he beat the count? Frost trying to get up. He goes down again. It's all over. It's all over. There's a new heavyweight champion of the world, and his name is Andre Bishop. Hey up, bitches. I knew you could do it, Andre. I'm proud of you. I hope we can work together now. Oh, I'd love to, Mr. McKay. But you might have some problems running things from the pen. Hey. We had a deal. You gave me your word. She didn't give you my word. You had no idea who you were fucking with. Deal! You better get me out of this! Hey! You better... Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Challenge game 128 is in the back. So, um, let me record my outro for this, and then we're gonna move over to MK. And this entire section where I'm talking right here is just like shit I need to edit later. Alright, so that wraps up game number 128, Fight Night Champion.